Hello boys and girls, welcome to the PTR, quick video here talking about a possible Rest to Shaman build that we'll be using in 10.2 and this is mainly because they're making a couple of changes, they're buffing the single target healing and they're also reducing the AoE healing that you would be doing. Compared with our tier set bonus for Restoration, which basically focuses a lot on Riptides, you will be spent, uh, sp spreading Riptides, which has increased healing based on the 4 set uh, tier piece bonus. It will be spreading itself basically, and then the targets that you single target here with your healing search will get some extra healing. Now, the two uh, set bonus is not that powerful, but it is basically going to make you spam a lot of healing surges and spread a lot of riptides and almost not cast chain heal because chain heal actually feels very weak after all those changes. So uh, based on that, we would actually like to make some changes to our talent tree and get rid of all the uh, chain heal talents. So the first thing that I'm going to drop is basically this talent here. Both of these are related to chain heal and instead I'm just going to get this one which increases the duration of Riptide uh, which is quite good for two reasons. First, Riptide does a lot of healing during your runs and second, the longer it's active, the bigger the chance for it is to spread to a different target so you benefit a lot by having a longer duration. The next thing we're going to do is get rid of Tidebringer and a very good talent to replace it with is the Ancestral Awakening. Now this one makes it so when you critically strike with your healing surges, which have a very high percent to critically strike anyway because of Tide Waves, uh, or the Riptides, you basically get some free healing to an injured party member of uh, basically choice. Uh, whoever is at low health. Now this is going to trigger a lot because you're not using Chain Heal anymore. Chain Heal does not trigger this talent, right? Oh, may, your main healing is going to come from Riptides and Healing Surges, so you will see at the end of the run that this actually contributes to a huge portion of your overall healing. Since we're not using Chain Heal anymore, we can replace the High Tide with Primal uh, Tide Core, which is just going to give you more free Riptides, to spread them for you and uh, we can also uh, substitute one of the points here for example if you don't want the ancestral vigor i was actually experimenting and playing with the torrent which increases the initial heal of the riptide um this is i i i, I can't say if that's good or not because i cannot see a distribution of how much of the riptide healing is done by the initial heal and how much is done by the hot but it is not a bad talent to have whatsoever and the other thing that you can do is you can probably take the totemic recall talent because now part of your big aoe heals are going to be the cloud burst totems so you basically you want to have them rolling at all times so being able to reset them every now and then is going to help you have them available almost 100% of the time. And then your playstyle is basically going to be reduced to spreading Riptides and then healing people with Healing Surge as much as you can while your Riptide is active. And of course, you can keep your Healing Rain active to get some value from the Deluge Talent. If you heal somebody with your Healing Surge while they're inside of your Healing Rain, they'll get 20% more healing. Now, you get this if they have Riptide on them as well, and you have absolutely no problem keeping five Riptides active at all five members in your party, simply because uh, the Riptide duration now is uh, 20 seconds, and you get three Riptides from the last talent primal type core and you get free riptides from the tier set bonus so it's quite a different play style than what we were used to but uh as i said chain heal doesn't feel that powerful so it's not something that we'll probably stick to once the next tier comes out now you can test this right now on live there's nothing preventing you from uh running this build but uh right now on live chain heal is probably going to overperform the riptides simply because the healing surges are not yet buffed and we are not going to have the set bonus which buffs the Riptides. But you can try to play it and see how it feels. If you don't have access or you don't want to have access to the PTR, you can play it on live. And you can also check my channel. I have few keys that have run on the PTR running this build. And uh, you can see how it feels, how it pl plays there. And uh, maybe get some uh, idea of what the next season healing is going to look like. So let me know what you think about this build. I, of course, have it linked in the description of this video and i'll have more information coming up from the ptr pretty shortly so stay tuned if you're interested in that and i'll see you guys in the next video until then bye bye 
and take care.